Okay, let me hit with that. Into that. Uppercut. Zero confinement. Bring him back up. A baller drive. Into follow fireworks. Like, bro, I don't even know. What, I, I can't even name the moves that fast, bro. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my new favorite build, to be fair. Like, it's, okay, it's not my favorite build, but it's definitely one of my favorite builds, okay? And this involves uh, using the new True Vastical variant as well. So when this variant actually comes out, if you, man, do want to make this build, it's very, very easy to make. You don't even need skill boxes. You can use them, uh, but me personally, I'm not using any. Uh, basically, because I, I don't have any skill boxes left. That's that's the reason why I'm not using them, but you, man, can definitely use them if you if you want to. Um, So yeah, the build is 25 Hakura, 40 Kido, and for some weird reason, uh, uh, Bala Fireworks is still only 40 kilo to use, so you can actually make this build with uh, Bala Fireworks core, which is really, really good. Also, for your res, I would definitely recommend a res that has a gap closer, and uh, Storm has two gap closers. That's the reason why I'm using it. Bro, if you try and use this build without gap closers, you're going to be annoyed as hell, bro. It's like impossible to catch up to those speed users, so I'll definitely recommend to use Storm or like, you know, another res that has a gap closer. Yeah, now here's all the moves that I'm going to be using. Um, Pulse is very, very good since it auto tracks on. Also, if you're in a gang, Pulse can multi it. So if there's like five people around you and you use Pulse with the and it uses up a charge, it will shoot five pulses auto tracking at people, which is so good for boss raiding. On top of that, I'm also going to be using Rising Shot because it's a combo that I like to do where you uppercut and then you instantly use Serra Confinement and then you Rising Shot to keep them in the air. Nothing they can do about it. And then you Bala drive them and there's two bars gone every time. I'm also going to be using Bala. Let me show you why. Bala is so good on uh, like with this variant, bro. Like it shoots out auto tracking Bala's. Like for example, okay, what did I have? Okay, here it is. Okay, auto tracking Bala. Is, yeah i'm gonna fire at him look auto tracking and it shoots like four of them bro it's really really good and then obviously we're also going to be using sorrow sweep sorrow sweep is so good on this build of this variant bro look let me just show you what it does so after you do the slam it does like a barrage like a multi-hit barrage and it fully stuns them so you can combo off of it and everything it is such an overpowered move all right there are a hella man over here so i'm gonna go and use the post over here i don't know like how many posts it can shoot out maximum i don't know the range of it either so i'm gonna just use it now Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I don't think it has a limit, bro. I, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it has a limit, which is like actually crazy. So yeah, not only is this build very, very good for ranked, it's also very, very good for boss raiding. Since you have Bala Fireworks, you have um Pulse that like hits like a bunch of people and auto tracks. You got Bala, which auto tracks a massive several Oscars. Like, bro, this build is just going to be crazy. And also every person you hit with Pulse, like regens you a tiny bit of HP. So if you hit like five people, you're going to be regening like half a bar of HP just from landing one post. But, you know, enough talking about the build. I'm going to go and showcase it to you, man, in rank. Um, and uh, just show how overpowered this build actually is. Okay, we're in our first match and we're finding another player that's using Keto, but he has like, he has the, he has the non-upgraded Keto. So I should definitely be able to win this, bro. All right, here we go. Dodge that. Hit him with the ult strike and pulse. Into, okay, let me block that. I'm gonna put down a Serra Confinement real quick. Uppercut him with this. Into Bala Drive. Huge. Stuck. Okay, where the, f okay, <laughs> bro, I caught him so hard. He was like stuck in the air, bro. He remained airtime. All right, let me hit him with a, uh, a ball of firework. Okay, this guy, bro. I feel so bro. He doesn't even know what's going on. Okay, snapped him of that. Into rising short. Post. Okay, wait, he's actually crazy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He's actually crazy. Okay, let me hit him with the the Cero Stomp. Into Cero. Bro, is this guy even in the same room as us right now? Okay, hit him with that. Like, bro, okay, there's just nothing he can do, bro. I, I feel bad. I actually feel bad. Okay, let me hit him with that. And he's bro. Okay, yo. That, okay, that doesn't count. All right, we're on our next match, and we're firing a Quincy. So, I don't know what kind of build he's going to be using. Okay, he's using Death Dealing with Speed. Okay, interesting. Hit him with that. Into Rising Short. Okay, I missed that. He still got hit by it, though. Now, I'm going to hit him with the Bala Barrage. Completely missed that. Okay, dodge that. Bro, you bro, you really thought I was going to fool for that, fam. I can dodge fucking Stingy so easily. All right, uppercut him. Into Bala Fireworks. Huge. Hit him with that. Oh, no. Oh, no way, bro. Okay. Block that. Him with Bala. Uppercut. Him with a rising shot. Okay, yo. This guy is struggling, fam. Okay, yo. Okay, wait. Hold on. That combo is actually crazy, though. It, bro, if, if I'm, like, not close to him, that combo is crazy. Okay. I'm in dodge all the way at that. Him with an all track and post real quick. Huge. Block that. M2. Block that. Bala barrage. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know why I said Bala barrage. That was no Bala barrage. My bad. Uppercut him, grand entrance, block that, him with the Z, cancel that, into Bala, 
huge uppercut and he's dead bro <laughs> he said that's just racist like genuinely racist and now so we are in our next ranked match this guy's using your curse sword okay he's probably gonna be like speed yeah okay what bro why did i why did i know it was gonna be speed bro okay let me hit with that into that uppercut zero confinement bring him back up a baller drive into fucking ball of fireworks like bro i don't even know what I, I can't even name the moves that fast bro that's how fast i'm doing these combos bro okay up with this okay hit him with that no hit me with that okay let me just quickly hit the barrage into that but bro there's nothing they can do there's actually nothing they can do bro stomp on the ground him with a post into <laughs> bro i feel bad i actually feel so bad there's nothing they can do there's actually nothing they can do all right, let me try and get two of my, uh, my charges back. Oh, and he's already dead. Okay, okay, we're in the next match, and I can't lie. This guy looks scary, bro. Okay, <laughs> okay, wait, he's using theater, bro. I haven't seen theater in a long time, actually. Hold up. Okay, hold up. Let me hit him with this. Okay, okay, it gives you, like, full high prom when you use that move. But, bro, can he move or not? Like, I'm confused, because this guy's just eating everything. All right, hold up. Let me get him out of the way of this. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure, like, the Bala Barrage, you know, that takes up a charge, the one that auto-tracks, I'm pretty sure... It gives you like startup high, high problem, which is actually crazy, bro. Him with that. Bring him back into the air. Him with a pose. Him with that. And one him a bunch. Bro, if I had an ultra skill right now, it would have been so wraps, bro. Like, okay, him with the Sarah sweep. Barrage. And, and he's dead. This build is crazy. All right, cool. I'm going to test out how much uh, HP uh, post gives just from hitting two people. Okay, and that, okay, that was actually a decent amount. Like, I wouldn't say that's a core of a bar, but that is that was a decent amount. So imagine that with, like, t five people, bro. Wait, hold on. I'm going to wait for my post to come off cooldown. I'm going to use it on three of them. All right, cool. This is how much it gives for three of them. Okay, that, okay, that is hella, bro. So imagine you're in a boss right here. There's, like, ten people around you. You use an auto-tracking post. You get a bar back instantly, bro. A bar back instantly. That is crazy. All right, cool. I'm going to test how much damage uh, all of my, like, enhanced moves do on my ult. I'm generally curious, like, the most curious about Sarah's but I want to see how much damage that barrage does because it feels like it does a lot of damage, even if it doesn't do that much like it still true stuns them so you can like combo that them like you know while they're getting hit by it. it's crazy all right cool so that move does almost a bar which is unbelievable like that's actually crazy bro because that move is so hard to parry as well like i'm pretty sure like no one's parried that move yet like every time i've used it they always get hit by it. it's crazy all right so baller drive does half a bar and it's bigger and really really fast as well so that moves like bro that's just okay so that's half a bar yeah and then we've got the other move which does almost a bar that's a bar and a half if i just hit them with both of those and like you can do them back to back pretty much and right, now i want to see how much damage the uh baller does so i'm gonna use a baller now okay that's a lot of damage for like an instant auto dragon move that is a lot of damage okay and then we've got the pulse as well Okay, post does a decent amount of damage as well. Like, both of those are auto tracking, so I didn't expect them to do too much damage, but that is still a lot of damage. And then, last but not least, I wanted to test out uh, Bala Barrage. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, yeah, that's actually, bro. Three auto tracking moves, all of them do a core of a bar. That is crazy. So yeah, that entire combo does pretty much half the HP. If they're in a rank round, they have Hiero. It's probably going to do, like, you know, two bars instead of half the HP. But that is still, like, actually, like, unbelievable, bro. That combo is, like, very hard to avoid as well. The only time, like, someone's ever avoided that combo is if they M1 me as soon as I uppercut them. Like, when I uppercut them and I go to Sarah Confinement, if they M1 me with, like, a really high swing speed, it will cancel my Sarah Confinement and then they can just combo me instead. Um, but no one does that. They always try to parry it. All right, so I would have showcased how much damage the Sarah Fireflies do and the uh, uh, Bala Burner. But unfortunately, I don't have either of them i ran out of skill boxes and the only skill box that i got was hollow by which is uh very depressing because that one doesn't even get you know like a charge buff but yeah now let me know you man's thoughts on the uh the new the new vest card variant i personally love it um but you are very very squishy and you've got to keep in mind like visor has a defense buff and it also gives you a health pack let's gives you a health pack and they have blood as well like bro you're gonna just be squishy as hell so a lot of people are saying it's op as hell but in my personal opinion it balances out apart from this build obviously this build is unbelievably ridiculous but um if they like you know you know nerf a few things i can see it being like a very balanced variant and it is very very fun to use but yeah now if you man did enjoy the video remember to like and subscribe i'm trying to hit 80k subs and uh yeah hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day